Two young people have died from suspected drug overdoses and three more are in a critical condition after attending a dance music festival in Sydney's west. The New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian wants the event shut down. 30,000 people packed into the open air venue at Penrith for an event billed as the world's most spectacular festival for dance music. But a day of partying ended in tragedy. A 23-year-old Western Sydney man and a 21-year-old woman from Victoria collapsed and later died in hospital from a suspected drug overdose. Others are fighting for their lives in hospitals around Sydney. There's five families to date um, that their lives have potentially changed forever because of a poor decision made to take illegal drugs. Police say they seized MDMA, cocaine and GHB, but exactly which drug was involved in the overdoses isn't yet known. Ten people were arrested for drug supply, while 700 people sought medical help. In a statement, the festival organisers said their thoughts were with the family of those who died and that DEFCON 1 has a zero-tolerance drug policy. But while everyone can agree the deaths are a tragedy, there's no consensus on how to tackle the problem. I never want to see this event held in Sydney or New South Wales ever again. Uh, we will do everything we can to shut this down. It's time that we started removing ourselves from drug dog operations and put in place amnesty bins, pill testing. The prospect of pill testing was again rejected by police and the government. Anyone who advocates pill testing is giving the green light to drugs. This is a debate between pragmatists who try to do the best they can in the real world and people who are idealists and want all drug taking to stop from midnight tonight. Uh, it's pragmatism versus absence. New South Wales police have formed a strike force to investigate the deaths. Nadia Daly, ABC News, Sydney.